So it is no secret that I enjoy bikes and bike packing. I've been starting to think, what if we could take kayaking campsites or kayaking multi-day trips and mix that with biking, but biking on the water. So in today's video, I am looking at the surf cycles. This is a bicycle style water tool, toy, uh, personal flotation device uh, that uses paddle boards, inflatable paddle boards to put a bike frame on top of. I'm going to take the surf cycles, put it together uh, because tomorrow I'm going to a place where there is a uh, lake. It's a, really a river, but it's dammed, so uh, it's not flowing very fast. And I will be able to see how easy this water bike is or how good the water bike is for my specific use case. Regardless, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And so I'm going to take it apart, assemble it, make sure I know how to use it for tomorrow. And of course, I'm bringing you along. Handlebars. Seat post, a pump to inflate, a backpack bag, a second bag. These are the two bags that the surf cycles come in. We've got the inflatables over here and the bike frame here. First thing I'm gonna do is to lay out the pontoons. So there's pontoon one, pontoon two, pump, patch kit. I'm gonna put the frame in the middle of the two and build it out. So the main bike frame is here and then I'm taking these poles with these clips down that will attach to these D-rings. So you put that in here, it clips. I'll show you again on the back. Put it in, pinch the bolts, and it clips in. Let's do one more. So I'll take the D-ring, clip it in, D-ring, Clip it in, and then same on the front. Clip in the D-rings. Here, I've got the handlebars. Those just slide in on this quick release clamp. And you wanna make sure that the gearbox is straight, which it does look like it is. Cool, handlebars are in. Then you take the seat post, same thing. I'll leave it pretty tall, because I am pretty tall. And then, the most important thing about this thing, I guess, is the propeller and rudder. So these go into here. There's like a hex bolt in here, and then a female of that same hex here, and that is your drive shaft. So that's what, spins the propeller, and this is some sort of gearbox. So you put this in, line up the hex, get that in, and quick release clamp that down, and then there's a safety. So you attach the safety wire to this clip. And then you leave it up while you're like walking it to the water, and as you get in, 
you throw this down. I also think this is a good design for like if you run up against rocks or debris in the water, this just moves up, which is kind of cool. It's a little bit of lag, it's cable driven. Cool. Now at this point, I'm gonna pump up the pontoons and we'll get this thing in the water. So we got the surf cycles built. We're at a reservoir. And then I'm walking it out by holding on to the... I feel like there's an easier way to do this. There might be, but I'm centered over the center of mass this way. I think I just have to like give it a scoot and throw myself over. I guess I'm just gonna let the rudder drag. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't lean. Okay, let's enjoy ride around for a little bit. This is interesting. So at this point, I'm just riding around the surf cycles to get a feel for it, to understand the feeling of riding on the water. It's much different than riding on the land. And I really am realizing I need to get a longer seat post, so I have one coming in the mail. Ooh, it turns on a dime. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, full speed effort, let's see it. Three miles an hour, four miles an hour, four and a half. <laughs> Oh man, this is interesting. You can stop and stand if you need. Okay, I just felt it hit the ground. So I just rode my first quarter mile on the surf cycles. And that's a lot of fun. I think I definitely need a seat that's, or a seat tube that's taller. Um, but there's a lot of like sensory things that are a lot different than a bike, which are looking at the water, you can't tell how fast you're going or where you're going. The wind isn't that strong right now, but I can tell that it's a factor. Um, and not leaning, like just turning is all you need to do. You don't really want to lean. So that's my first impression. Let's get you on the thing. So I gave Abigail a push and she was off to the races. I think this really speaks to the fact that anyone can really just hop on the surf cycles and use it. And I would say even if you haven't ridden a bike before or aren't the best at balancing on a bike, since there are two pontoons, the surf cycles is very stable. And there was someone at the park who we didn't know who even hopped on the bike and took it for a ride. But let's go over some of my first impressions of how it feels and just talk through the experience. The seat's too low for me right now, but if I'll turn almost all the way, you can basically pivot or turn without like going forward almost at all. So that's a right turn and I'll give it also a left turn. Or that was left, this is right. And then I will show you. So kind of when I'm out in the middle of a body of water, it is nice to sort of stop. You can stand up. That's kind of nice to stop and take a break. Uh, I'm gonna try to go backwards. So I'm pedaling backwards, coming to a stop. And eventually, yep, start to go backwards. So you can go backwards as well. So if you're like backing out of a beach, something like that. And then the next thing I wanna talk about is speed. So speed, you, my watch on Strava right now, saying that the speed, like average that it's good at is about three and a half miles an hour. 
and that's like a good cruise. Once you get above that, then the pedals start like feeling rough. So I'll demonstrate that real quick. But basically this is cruising speed. But if you wanna go faster, it gets really rough. You can see my legs, it's like, I don't know how to describe that, but it's uh, not as easy and it's very stable. So I'm not worried about flipping over. So yeah, I guess this will be my final thoughts. It's not too fast. It's cruising speed is about three and a half miles an hour and uh, it's super stable. Like someone here at the park just hopped on and they picked it up almost right away. So that was super good. I'm super stoked with it. Can't wait to take it out more places.